What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days of Night. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope my camera is aligned properly, but I, I do appreciate you guys. It is day seven. Okay, it is horror night. We're at 2100 time. We got about 60, 40, 50 minutes, not even that many minutes to, to, to prepare ourselves, okay? But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty prepared. I got my little melee weapon right here. I got a little pipe machine gun, level six with a, you know, 21 bullets. Definitely not gonna last me all night. Probably not even gonna kill more than 10 zombies, but this guy right here, this is what we got last episode. Make sure you guys watch if you haven't. We got a double barrel level one shotgun. We got 140 bullets in this guy. So I'm pretty sure I'm pretty confident in this. I am extremely, extremely, extremely confident in this. I got my, my robotic sledge with the little upside down smiley face. You know what I mean? He's ready to go. He's ready to go. And just in case backup, I got myself a primitive bow. I mean, we always got melee weapons for days. We got a stun baton right here. We got a level stone five spear. You know what I mean? And we got a we got a pipe baton. So like, I, I'm pretty confident that we're gonna survive this seven days. I think we're gonna do outstanding. Okay. Oh, oh, he just closed. It's almost time. Got 30 minutes, boys. We got 30 minutes. All right, here we go. It's 2200. So my my strategy, I believe, is I'm just gonna melee. I'm just gonna melee. Um, if I start seeing things hitting down there, I'm just gonna use my bow and arrow, take them out. And if push comes to shove, bro, we're gonna go straight for the shotgun. All right, we're gonna go straight for the shotgun. But I'm pretty sure we'll be fine with just a melee. We got three melee weapons on us. That's a lot of zombies, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Look at this. Take them out. Come on, take him out. I got him. Take him out. See, bro, it's working. It's it's foolproof. It's foolproof. 100% will make it through. They're not even they're not even going to touch me. They're not even going to touch me, bro. Not even going to touch me. The only thing I'm worried about is when they fall, they'll go into rage mode and then they'll start hitting up my base and everything. That's quite literally the only my only concern. But other than that, bro, like look at this. The rocket sledge is really what's doing it right now. It's really the rocket sledge, right? Like look at that, man. That, that the rocket sledge it's really him that's really like put it in work right now i'm really not doing anything i can't wait till i get like actual legit turns to shoot everything for me bro like i could just sit here and just relax let the rocket sledge do everything let the turns do everything and i just and i just chill i can't wait for that that'll be lit this man is literally i don't have to do anything maybe maybe right here i will oh they starting to hit it but they get pushed yeah they start to get pushed see like right there oh he killed him he actually killed him but they'll start like if, if they can't get to me they'll start hitting the they'll start hitting the post and everything uh like i think there's a zombie behind uh under me already trying to hit the post but like yeah just like that why are you not doing there we go there we go there we go but eventually you know they're either get knocked off or other zombies will push them or i'll end up you know getting 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 a hold of them you know what i mean so i think everything is fine especially we definitely need to upgrade this railing here and upgrade the um the uh the foundations whenever we get to that point but like look at this bro it's beautiful like look at this i don't think rocket says is going to be able to reach him so i'll just take him out with my bow or miss or completely miss just like that but it is good that uh the zombies they push each other off this area right here is so thin that they'll just they'll literally just start pushing each other off like this guy right here we don't like that we don't like that so we gotta take him out oh i didn't even know you thank you mr rocket sledge i wonder if it's worth having two rocket sledges i actually do have a second one but when i put it down uh, this one stopped working, but I think there's a perk to make it work. You could have two rock sledge at the same time. And I wonder if it's worth have one pushing to the right and then have another one pushing to the left like that. I think that'll actually be nice. Along with the, all the machine guns and everything going off. Like, I think I think we can get this base up and rolling. Like, I don't even have to do anything. That's the beauty of it. I literally don't have to do anything. Quite literally. I think we're going to upgrade this moat system down here as well. Make it like an official moat system. Just to make it where the zombies... Because, like, they'll climb up there and then they have to jump over that. Just to make it a little bit easier for them to actually get to me, I think might be a, might be of interest, honestly. My thing is, why do they always stop there? That's my thing. I don't know why they, they always come up and then they'll just stop right there. Why do they stop there? I actually have no idea. I wonder if it's because of the rocket sledges right there or, like, why specifically right at that block? I don't get it. Because everything was repaired already. You know what I mean? My mindset is that since that block has like less durability than all the rest of them, all the zombies are just gonna hit that one, right? But like, I wonder if it's because of the rocket sledge. Hmm. I honestly don't know. I really don't know. But everything is going fine so far. No discrepancies. Nothing bad is happening. We'll definitely make it through this night, 100. percent Okay, so it's day eight now. So it seems like the horror night is over. We got a decent amount of loot here. We got one more guy to kill up there now there are some there are some things that i noticed with the base that i think might actually need to change so let's look at the damage here on this uh this catwalk here uh where is it all right here we go here we go um so this one i mean the damage isn't bad 
it's definitely there so you know they've been beating on it my discrepancy though is i noticed a lot of zombies while i was right here they would gather here here and here and they'll just start hitting on uh hitting on these uh these like this one 356 out of 1500 this one got hit a lot but there's nothing i could do about it though because i can't see them from here you know what i mean i can't see them from here to hit down um and you know my robots aren't gonna do anything so we're gonna we're gonna have to find some type of fix for it um right now i really don't know what kind of fix that fix would be but i think i think it's either going to be make this a different block so they can't hit it but i don't think that's possible or add these little uh frames right here or these railings here instead so i can walk on them and i could just see them hitting it i could shoot them from below you know what i mean so i think that'll be like i i don't know that's like the best case scenario plan that i could think of here but other than that i think we did pretty good we got a lot of ammo already some pistol ammo that's pretty nice um we got a schematic for an assault rifle which i don't know if i've already got that but hey if i don't that's a w right there uh what else would we have in here let's see this one we got a lot of assault rifle ammo just from that we got an 87 assault rifle ammo just from that alone which is actually kind of nice i like that i like that a lot so let's go ahead and start repairing our base up the robotic sledge turret did work okay man's did pretty much everything that i can think of correctly i crafted myself a little bit of a storage boxes here so we can actually start storing our stuff correctly here um let me get the wood out let me get this out we're gonna need a lot more of the cobblestone rocks um, but right now what we're gonna do we're gonna do a lot of housing stuff okay we need to upgrade this base more and we need to get a bunch more resources and that's the main focus that i'm gonna focus on the main focus we gotta get our actually like get our base situated and everything like that uh so that when 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 the next horde comes we'll practically be prepared okay we're, we're we're perfectly prepared when the next raid come that's the point okay that's what we need that's exactly what we need let's all of this stuff all of this stuff you just need to go in here honestly i do need to repair though i don't know why i put that in there i don't know why i need a food chest i need everything okay we need everything another small little discrepancy with the baits that i figured out is uh whenever the rocket sledge goes here and he hits someone off they sometimes land here, which I barely get to see them. If I do see them, I have like a little bit of a lead way to shoot them. Um, but they'll get here and they'll start beating up everything around here. This one almost broke, literally almost broke. I just repaired it. It was at like 10 or 15 out of the 150 or fit five. I forgot the number, but basically we got to have to find a fix for that as well. Um, this block doesn't necessarily have to be this block. Um, honestly, we don't even need to have this here. This, this base has so much support that it'll still support it. I mean, it, it's nice to have it there. You know what i mean so um yeah but i do think we should probably change this up to something else um i might change it one of these blocks just to make it like thin but also have that extra support there so i think that's what we're gonna do um, we're not gonna do it yet our main focus for the next few days before we even do any type of base building or base working on is giving resources and making sure this thing is not in the uh shape frames form anymore and we also got to get a roof on this but the main thing is resources 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 so let's go ahead and organize all of our uh, all of our chests and everything as much as we can probably gonna just throw everything in here this is gonna be for my main resources i should probably go ahead and re rename that let's go main resources just like that uh this is gonna be all resources but i don't have any uh i don't have enough uh what is it called thumbtacks i guess nails i don't have enough nails to actually make any more of these storage boxes so we're just gonna put everything pretty much everything inside of here and uh, we'll organize our inventory once everything gets inside of here. All right, everything's put up the way it's supposed to go. It's four o'clock in the morning, which is perfect because that's the time the bell rings. That's the time I can actually go out here and start doing stuff. We're going to go ahead and do quests. That's our main focus right now. That's the only thing we're going to be doing for the next few days is questing, raiding, questing, raiding, questing, raiding, getting our upgrades, leveling up, getting everything we need, getting our resources, doing all the good noodle stuff because the day 14 raid is no joke. Okay. It's no joke. We, you thought day seven was a, was a cakewalk. You seen the durability on them bars, bro. It's getting destroyed day 17. I mean, 14. When day 14 comes, all that stuff is getting destroyed. Who's in here? Who's in here? Get out of my base. I'm sad there's no door there. Cause I know, I know there's gonna be some zombies coming through here in a minute. No ma'am, you cannot hit me ma'am. No ma'am, I'm out of stamina. Out of stamina. All I did was hit four things and I'm, 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 I'm out of stamina. Get out of my face. Did you bring sisters? You bring a brother, big one, big brother. Excuse me, sir, I'm sorry about this. It must happen. I think I broke his jaw anymore. I think we're good. I think we're good. Go ahead and look inside of all of these. Honestly, none of these really have the resources that I really need for the most part. But I mean, if we're hoarding resources, we're hoarding resources. You feel me? We might as well hoard resources if we're going to be a hoarder. You know what I mean? Uh, we're going to get pretty much everything in here. 
bandages, everything like that. And this place is extremely small with a doggy. I can I can one tap him right. I can one. Bam! I can one tap him. I can one. Oh, oh! I woke you up. Sorry about that, sir. Go ahead and take you out. You didn't think in the garbage can. Forty three wood. That's wood I don't have to mine. Is that all? Is that it? All the good loots in here, huh? Some glue, very important. Love the glue. Holy crap. Okay, we almost died. Ammo. And eh, could be better, could be better. What's that? What, uh, we got a lucky looter. Brass is a new gold for the wasting because that's what bullies are made from. Find more brass and loot. That's actually a W. Because we're definitely going to be needing to uh, mass produce some ammo in the future. That's a, ooh. Also need one of those. I actually don't think I have a wrench. I don't have a wrench. That's actually a W right there. We're definitely going to need wrenches in the future for electronics and everything. Might as well fall in here. Only two zombies. No loot. I might as well just leave now. There's no point in me being here if there's no loot. Excuse me. Sorry about uh bothering you guys. I thought there was loot in there. Is this unlocked? It is. All right, let's go ahead and do this quest. It is a clear quest. Pretty easy. Straightforward. Take you down. Take out the dog. All right. And take out both of the zombies at the bottom. All three of the zombies at the bottom, actually. Four? All four of the zombies at the bottom. Make sure you're dead. That guy... Oh! Oh! Ran out of stamina. Sorry, sir. Whoa! What is... Oh, my God. There's another one. It was five zombies. I didn't even know that one was right there. Now I'm infected. You see what you did to me, Mr. Zombie? You infected me. I don't know what you're hitting on. <laughs> you need to come down here. Oh, one more. Ah. Got to give me another one. Come on up here. Come on. Are you stuck? Ah. One more. One more. One more. All right. All right. I had to. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. I ran out of st stamina. I don't know what's with the stamina situation I got going on, but it sucks. But quest complete. We can go ahead and leave. All right. All right. All right. I'm not playing them games. I'm not playing them games. We got a baseball bat. Actually, might be a W. I wonder if it's going to do more damage than the uh, pipe baton that we have on already. Just because of the resources we have and everything. And we got a sledgehammer. Kind of a W as well. I think that was everything, though. We might as well leave. Okay, 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 okay. We might as well leave this way. Might as well leave. I ain't playing with no bear. Especially when I only got 10 bullets. Probably less. I think I got eight, actually. I am not playing with Mr. Sir. Might as well. I, I don't think he'll chase me. We're not close enough to where he'll chase me, so I think we're good. I think that we're good. I would call that a successful raid. Now we gotta do like uh now we just gotta do 10 more. Alrighty then, Mr. Trader of the Joes. Let me see what you got. Let me see that reward. Nine millimeter a hundred I'll take that. I'll take the nine hundred nine millimeter. I like that. I like the hundred nine millimeter. Can we get some tier two quests on here? I need some tier two. Clear zombies three hundred and fifty three. I think I like that. We're gonna take that one. That should be pretty damn easy. I, I don't think his image. Oh, we wait, 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 wait. His inventory changes every seven days, right? Restock 10, day 10. So restock is on day 10. So this is the same stuff that I seen last time, right? Yeah, all of this looks, yeah, all of this looks familiar. So we day 10, he'll restock, which is actually kind of close. Honestly, we'll probably hit that guy up in the next episode more than likely. Um, so that, that'll be exciting. I hope he actually gets some good stuff this time. 330 kilometers away. Let's go ahead and hit this guy. Guys, look at this house, bro. This house looks all run down and everything. Looks disgusting. Look at this guy. But we do need we need clay soil. Um, I need to make a forge next. That's the main thing that we need to do. So definitely go and and cobblestone rocks and cement. We need all this. We need all this. We're gonna we're we're, we're collecting all this. This is a chemistry space. Let me get a. Dang, I was hoping for something different. I was actually hoping for my own little oh hazmat guy. We do not like those. One hit from this guy and I'm done. Yeah, you ain't got you ain't got no partners, but you know no associates. Right, you ain't got no no business partners, no 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 co-workers, do you? Miss no no. Okay, I think we're good. Is this all that's here? I think we're yeah, we're definitely supposed to go down there. Okay, okay. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We got a lot of this cement stuff. I like it cuz I need it all. I most definitely do most dilly do most dilly, dilly do need all of this. This is definitely going to be clutch. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't I wasn't expecting that one. Chemistry station behind me, no zombies behind me though. So that's good. What did I say behind me? I'm in front of me. That looks like death down there. Ah, uh, hazmat guy again. Don't tell me this entire place is infested. It's infested with hazmat guys. They had associates. They're all working together to kill me, bro. Come on, let me get this chemistry station. Dang. Okay, it's okay. It's fine. We got a lot of chemistry sets, though. If I could get me a beaker or something like that, or like a schematic for a chem station, something like that, that'd be really, really nice. Considering the fact that this entire place is set up with chem stations. Okay? They had a freaking 
they had a this is breaking bad all over again okay and i didn't i didn't get anything that i wanted did i not a single thing i gotta make sure they're not coming back up for me because that'll be bad i don't want to get close to them either whoa whoa Ooh, we got more Ooh. oh hello sir how's it going you're not a you're not a hazmat guy i guess i guess he he i don't know why he's here i don't know beaker no beaker 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 no beaker acid acid can uh, i think we can still use that we're not gonna get a beaker are we no beaker no beaker there might be one downstairs though that's oh ooh, ooh. excuse me going to take you guys out cannot get hit by either one of you or else i am gone for but there might be a beaker downstairs or even a kim station set downstairs both of those will be a w humongo clutch so we're gonna check down there hopefully there is there's actually just nothing down here i fell down here expecting there to be something down here but there's quite literally actually just nothing of use down here at what is in here i'm 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 just hoping i'm grabbing at nothing here i'm just hoping that there there might be something inside of these trash bags there's nothing in these trash bags. why do i even look into trash bags i'm still looking in trash but there's nothing inside there's nothing inside of these why do i keep i keep having hope i got some glue though at least i got glue glue is glue is kind of good okay glue is kind of good i think we pretty much destroyed this entire house and we've we've ex adventured as much as we can adventure and, and it's time to go okay that's the bottom line it's time to go i don't know why i'm still here trying to you know what it's time to go i need to stop i need to stop hello you can come in because i need to leave thank you excuse me excuse me excuse oh i forgot we have to do this quest okay we, we might get a game station game station time i forgot we could reset it like that w okay kim station excuse me excuse me excuse me there's bad men inside I'm, I'm saving you guys i don't need you guys to be going in there i will i will destroy the bad men for you i promise just sleep for a little bit i got you we got it we got the beaker i forgot what i needed a beaker for but I, I i remember it being important okay i remember a beaker being important but now that we got the beaker we the only thing we need oh whoa whoa are you a nurse i've never seen her before i think that's a nurse looks pretty nursey to me I, I don't know never seen that type of a uh, zombie before I, I don't know i was expecting the hazmat guys and i got a a nice nurse i wasn't expecting a nice nurse excuse me excuse me i need to uh i need to get through here but we got the beaker now which is a w if we get two of them that'd be even more of a w but we're looking for a kim station uh, a kim station schematic or even a kim station itself which i don't think you can get the kim station itself but we're looking for the schematic okay come on out yeah there's a lot of these guys in here or girls rather um dang i guess they were just, i guess has my guys once you kill them one time you don't need to you need, you need to deal with them anymore I don't, I don't know i don't know but i like it come on let me get a i don't even know what i'm looking for anymore we already got the beaker i definitely don't think i'm gonna get the kim set over here unless i'm extremely lucky and i'm not not extremely lucky definitely oh come down come down is that a way up because i already went to the ceiling right is that like another loot location up there I don't see a way to actually get up there though, but that blo that's blocked off. There's got that's got to be a loot location, right? No way. If the trap downstairs wasn't like an actual place of loot, right? Because there's nothing down there. The only other location I could think of where you can actually loot something is up there. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Watch this. We go through here. Oh, there's it is. I didn't see them last time. And there's a loot. So I missed a loot the first time. That sucks. But it's okay. Oh, she went down on me not not like not not like that guys not like that but look at all this loot come on let me get something decent 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 okay some medical supplies okay some more medical supplies okay okay some olive oil i i do have an abrasion so i'm definitely going to be using that get rid of that abrasion thank you very much and last one second to last one what we got in here what we got in here we got a nice little book and another book and another beaker w beaker we got two beakers that's actually w all right i like it this has been a very extremely successful raid we got two beakers a bunch of stuff that i don't know what i'm gonna use for and uh two beakers i, I mainly only care about the two beakers i'm still pretty interested on what's up there so i think what i'm gonna do right i'm going to make me some uh well maybe some frames here maybe like like five of them I, I'm, I'm massively interested on what's up there i feel like there's loot up here for some reason um oh there's a safe up here so i was right and we have some lock picks Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay we got a wooden bow that's actually better than the, uh, the other bow that i had that's actually a w i wish i would have saw that the freaking the first time i went up here you know what i mean we could have double looted the weapons bag now we know though now we know if we ever see this type of poi again now we know that the, the secret loot is actually up up here you know what i mean now we know is that a way to get up here oh it was there was a way to get up here the entire time i just didn't look in the bathtub 
I should have looked at a bathtub. They're sneaky with it, man. They're sneaky with it. Now, can we unlock this with three lock picks? That's that's the big question. Can we open this little locky lock guy? Usually, no. But I might get lucky here. We're already halfway through, which is nice. If we could get the, to the three second, the three second would be nice. All the way? All the way? All the way. One lock pick. That's what I like to see. Let me get something good. And we got weapon for shotgun parts. Not not too bad I, I don't think i'm gonna go with a shotgun build though you know what i mean i think I, I, my main build that i wanted you i want to do a sniper okay i want to do a headshot sniper build you know what i mean one shot headshot sniper build collateral all that jazz make the bullet go through a bunch of zombies type type you know type setup you know what i mean that is gonna be my main setup, and i'm gonna be secondary uh robotics man so i'm gonna have a bunch of turrets and everything like that i think that setup would be really really cool really really cool to do let me get all of this i forgot how to get clay though i think i just hit the dirt to get clay so hopefully it's easy unless that's not the way to get clay and then i'm just like tripping on the way to get clay and then it's probably hard how do we even get out of here i have to i forgot how to get out of here because i jumped down the first time i got it oh yeah because i the key the key the key to the the, the the key to the house god dang it the key to the house that's what i need the key which is i went this way and then it's over there yeah okay we're good we're good we're good we're good we're good i got the key we can leave. We can leave, and I'm extremely full. Thank you. Bike. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I am back, Mr. Trader of the Joes. Let me get something gracious this time. I didn't want tier two quests. We get a mushroom spore seed recipe. I am not going to do that at all. Increases the tank size for by 50% for chainsaws and augers. I don't have a chainsaw, and I don't have an auger, so that's useless. And we got a bicycle, but I already have a bicycle. So I think we're going to get the ammo crafting bundle. We got a farm bundle. Don't really care about farming. Clothing is whatever. Food is whatever. I think we get the the ammo, a bundle of ammo crafting ingredients. I think this would probably be better considering the fact we already got a bicycle. So we're going to get that and we should be on tier two jobs now, which we are not. Special jobs. We got opening trade routes, which is north, straight north. What? Let me look at, let me look at the map. Straight north would be that way hmm nah i'm not gonna do it i really just want to stay in this area um I, I don't think i want to go inside of any other area so we're just gonna keep doing jobs for dude here we're gonna get a i'm thinking this clear zombies no matter would be really really nice sir thank you thank you thank you thank you all right guys i'm in the episode here i really do appreciate you guys watching thank you thank you thank you and i'll see you guys in the next episode don't forget to tune in thank you peace